morning from Bangkok on a dreary day. The rain's coming down, perhaps rather aptly actually. It reminds me of the UK. And today I'm out and about with the British consular in a behind the scenes. Yes, my name is Derek Johnston. Uh, I'm the one of the vice consuls at the British Embassy, Bangkok. Derek, I, I feel like I'm back in the UK. I'm sitting in the car with the rain, two Brits, but that's not the case, is it? Where are we off to today? We're off to the One Stop Crisis Centre at uh, Police General Hospital. Uh, they've just opened uh, a new uh, centre for the One Stop Crisis Centre, which is a a victim-centred approach uh, centre for dealing with victims of uh, rape and sexual assault and domestic violence. Uh, so that's in, in the centre of uh, Police General Hospital here in Bangkok. Going... See... The yellow building? This poor person get that, Yellow building? Yellow building. Yeah, for enough, yeah, for enough, that's good. So this is for if anyone has been hurt through a sexual assault or a, what, what other kind of accidents would warrant this interview? They can be interviewed in this room with social workers, but you can see if they are younger than 18 years old, if they are children, they have some doors and some toys to, for children to communicate with the professionals and social workers. Oh. How, how many foreigners um, end up here? So around a hundred of foreigners that get the service here, so ten percent of all the victims. Are ten percent of all victims are from other countries. Yes, that's right. Oh wow. So, so Derek, when there's someone from the UK that has been called here. Is your team, when does your team get notified and involved? We can be notified at, at any stage. Some of our survivors notify us directly, so we're the first point of contact. We hear about other cases via the hospital or via the, the police, so, uh, yeah, so we can be contacted by, by any means. Uh, I would say probably 50% of, of, the, of the survivors contact, contact us directly, uh, and then we're their first point of contact, and then we then uh, deploy to, to, to meet the, uh, the, the victim uh, wherever yeah. they are, at the hotel or at the hospital. And, and probably to say the obvious, but just to ask firsthand, it must be quite a tough part of the role for you to be involved in this. Uh, the, one of the most difficult uh, cases to, to deal with because uh, you're, uh, you know, you're helping a, a British national who's been the subject of, a, of quite a traumatic incident. Uh, and uh, the rape trauma is, is very well documented, the, the, the effects of that. So, uh, yeah, the, the, there are difficult cases to, to deal with, but we, we receive training and, uh, you know, we're, the, the team here are very ex experienced in, in dealing with these cases. So that uh, puts us in the best position to, to be able to op offer the best uh, service we can and, and help the survivors uh, as best we can get through the, uh, get through the trauma. Everything is done under on, in one one unit, so less it, it, it reduces the trauma and the, the of the of the victim just being cared, uh, cared for in one in one unit. Just from looking at this, I can see how diverse and stressful probably working for the British consular is. Really, it's quite quite moving to think what goes on in those in those crisis rooms. Um, 
specific unit where everything In fact, the, there are two back doors for the, the team or the client to get out from the center yeah. in, in case that it is a big deal for the media attention, but for the victim privacy. So we need to have like special doors for the victim to get out from the center. Oh, so the door behind, which says number eight, is actually just an escape room. Yeah, but no one gonna know where it leads to. Only, no. only the staff here know where it leads to. Okay, so, so high profile cases where the media want to get involved, this is your s secret in and out. Exactly. We need it. We need it for privacy. Do you use it quite a lot? We can't say. Okay. And you will never know. Okay. Thank you for telling me. Thank you. Okay, so we've spoken about this crisis centre and the fact that foreigners and Thais come here for sexual cases like rape. Is it a big problem here? I wouldn't say it's a, I wouldn't say it's a big problem. It's rapes and domestic violence, uh, the cases happen, happen all over the world. What we try to do is work with the, the authorities, work with the, the hospitals uh, like the PGH and the One Stop Crisis Centre. Uh, we could collaborate on training to make sure that if we do have victims of rape and sexual assault that uh, they have, they're in the best position to have the, the best possible treatment so that they can get through their, their, uh, their experience and uh, try and recover from the trauma as, uh, as, as quickly as possible. Uh, of course, and I think what you're showing me today as well is if you do come over here as a British national, the British Embassy and Consular are there to help and support if anything does happen like this. We are, yes. Uh, we if uh, any, any British national who's, who's stuff, suffering from any distress, who's, uh, who's vulnerable, who's a subject of any uh, a victim of crime, uh, be it rape or sexual assault or, or any crime, uh, yes, we're, we're here to help. That's what, that's what we do in the consular section. We help all British, nas British nationals in, dis in distress. So these are the different rooms from psychiatrist to nurse rooms. I think what's important to stress here is, of course, we're seeing some of the worst case scenarios here, but it doesn't mean Thailand's not a safe place. We're just seeing how if something does happen, how you're protected and how there are people here to help you and make sure that you get through this. Hello. Uh, right, right here we are at the main uh, medical examination room where if we have to do a repeated examination of the case again uh, due to various reasons, this is where we come for the examination and for further, uh, ad further advising the patients and their families and the victims on the legal process, on the medical aspect of the legal process. All right, you can please take a look inside. As you can see, walking through all the rooms, that uh, as the center said, it's a one-stop crisis center. So we try to approach the victim in a holistic way. There's the psychologist, the social worker aspect, the legal aspect, and like the medical aspect. So we try to finish everything here, so the so the victim does not have to have a back and forth, go back and forth, and feel a sense of that. Uh, the, the process is too difficult, too, too long to handle, you know, so they're not stressed out, so we try to have everything done on the day. Bye. Cup, cup. Bye. So Derek, in introduce your role, what do you do? Uh, I'm one of the Vice Consuls uh, here at the British Embassy Bangkok and, and my role as, as, uh, as one, of the, uh, one of the VCs here is to uh, uh, look after victims of serious crime, uh, for example rape and, and sexual assault, uh, child safeguarding, child protection uh, issues. Uh, so what we try to do is respond to uh, any uh, British nationals who contact us, who, who, who are uh, victim of crimes, who are victims of regular uh, sexual assault, 
uh, and we would normally we would deploy uh, wherever that person was in Thailand, whether whether it be Phuket or, or Chiang Mai or here in Bangkok. So we'd, we'd meet with the, the victim and we'd work, uh, we'd assist them uh, in the process, uh, w whichever way the, the, the victim wanted to, to, to go. So if they wanted to report it to the police, if they just wanted hospital treatment, we'd res respect their wishes uh, and we'd help them in, in any way we, we could. So that's, that's our role uh, with uh, assisting British nationals. Uh, and, and my focus here at, at the embassy is primarily rape and sexual assault uh, child safeguarding, as well as other uh, vulnerable victims uh, that we get. How, how does it all work? Do the victims or family members contact the British consular or do you get contacted via Thai authorities? It can happen in a, in a number of ways. Uh, a lot of our uh, victims contact, uh, contact us directly. Uh, they see the contact details on, on our British Embassy website and they'll reach out to us directly. Uh, other times we'll be contacted by the Thai authorities, by the police or with the, the tourist assistance uh, officers TAC who will have a close working relationship with. Uh, so we can, we can hear about uh, uh, a British national circumstances in, in, a, in a number of ways, uh, be it from the victim directly or from uh, friends or family or from the, the, the Thai authorities. Okay, and how can you help? I guess it's a question, simple question, what's, what's the kind of things you do? Uh, if we're talking specifically about uh, survivors of, of rape and sexual assault, uh, we can help by uh, going to meet them where, wherever they are, if, they, if they're still at, at the hospital or at the, at the police station. Uh, we're trained in uh, how to interact with, uh, with a survivor of rape and sexual assault. Uh, we've had first responder training, so we know the right uh, things to say. We know how to uh, how to assist them to try and reduce their their trauma and to get them through the process. Uh, so that when we when we're speaking to a, a survivor, we're guided by what they want to do, what their you know their their wishes. So we're not trying to persuade them to report it to the police. Uh, if the survivor wants to go through the police process, we will assist them in doing that. But our first objective is is that the well, their welfare, their health and welfare. So. Uh, hospital treatment uh, and then the, the other process for, follow on from that. Okay, today we went to the crisis centre and some of the Thai staff and authorities showed us around. It was a little bit of an eye-opener actually and I guess it goes on everywhere. You know, your relationship with this crisis centre, what, what typically happens there? We've had a long-standing relationship with the uh, one-stop crisis centre at, at Police General Hospital because they are the main hospital uh, for Bangkok for, uh, for, for survivors of rape, rape and sexual assault but also for uh, victims of, of, of child, child abuse as well. Uh, so we've worked with them for the past few years, we've co collaborated on training exercises. We ran a project last year uh, where we had funding from the UK government and we trained the One Stop Crisis Centre uh, the staff, uh, the tourist assistants and the police in uh, survivor handling so we used our expertise from our experts in the UK, and we worked with them uh, to try and improve the, uh, the, the, you know, the quality of, uh, of survivor handling that uh, our customers will uh, will receive at, at, at these different centres. Well, that's interesting. So the British, like expertise, the Thailand, Thailand listened and took it on because this crisis centre is not just for foreigners, is it? It's it's for Thais, and I guess Thais. Well, the lady said it was ninety percent. So you were able to help them with your skills and they were open ears were they? Uh, yeah that's right they were very receptive they're, they're, they're keen to learn from other countries not just the British Embassy but we work also with the with the US Embassy uh, in delivering training uh, but also it's, it's a two-way exercise we find we, we want to find out uh, we want to learn from them how, how they deal with their uh, their victims of crime and their process and so it's a, it's a matter of working together and they're very keen to, to learn from us as well on, on how we deal with uh, survivors of rape and sexual assault uh, in the UK. And uh, other embassies from other countries as hands-on and involved in the Thai community as the British Consular and Embassy? Uh, we have a good relationship with the US Embassy and we've, uh, we've collaborated on training uh, and conferences so, uh, and also we've, we've reached out, we, we had training that we delivered to uh, a lot of the other embassies uh, in Bangkok, so with the Australian Embassy, uh, New Zealand, 
So they all participated in this project where we delivered training to them. Uh, so we're, all the embassies, yeah, that, I would say that we're trying to work together and share our expertise for the benefit of all foreign nationals in, in Thailand. Okay, I haven't got any more questions, but is there anything that you feel you'd like to say to people watching? Uh, just to reassure people that Thailand is, is a safe place. We're not, uh, we're not saying that if you, if you come to Thailand that you're, you, the, the, the chances of being raped or sexually assaulted are any greater than uh, any other country in the world. What we're saying is that we, uh, the British Embassy are working together with the Thai authorities uh, to ensure that if bad things do happen and happen at any, any country in the world, that we're uh, working with the, the, the Thai authorities to ensure that any victims of, of rape or sexual assault, any victims of, of crimes in, generally, in, in general will receive the best possible treatment. Thank you very much. Thank you.